In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to define your site and testing server within Dreamweaver CC. This video tutorial has been brought to you by simpletut.com and the reason it is beneficial for you to define your testing server within Dreamweaver is because it will enable you to develop database driven websites and test your PHP pages within your local host machine. Now before you can actually define anything in Dreamweaver, you're going to need to actually install your testing server on your computer. Now if you are running a Windows operating system, then I recommend that you install WAMP server. Alternatively, if you're running Mac, then I recommend you install MAMP, which is the Mac alternative. Now there will be a link in the description of this video to both of these websites, but all you need to do is navigate to the download to the download page and select either the 32-bit or 64-bit version of the software. Once you have installed the software on your computer, you'll notice that you get the WAMP icon in your taskbar. Now when you initially launch it, it will be red and then turn orange and then finally green. When it is green, it's fully online and ready for you to use. Now when it, when it is online, you're going to want to left click on it Make sure it's online by selecting put online and start all services. And once it is green, as I said, it is ready for you to go. So let's start. The first thing you'll need to do is select the www directory. Now this is the location within your testing server that you'll be inputting your, that you'll be creating your site root folder. Now this is the folder that will contain all of your site files. So the first thing we need to do is just right click in here say new folder and you'll want to name this folder um, the name of your website so for example example site name within this folder you want to right click new folder and assets now in case you need to access this folder uh, manually you can simply go to your C drive WAMP www folder and then you'll find your site root folder uh, at this stage you're now ready to actually define everything in Dreamweaver itself. So the first thing you want to do is click on site, new site. From here you can uh, enter a site name. So again I'm just going to enter example site. And um, the local site folder is the root folder we just created. So again C drive, uh, WAMP, www and our example uh, site name folder which is our site root folder. You then want to select servers and click on the plus sign. Again, you can give this a name, example site. Um, we're going to connect using a local network. The server folder is our site root folder and that's um, automatically selected because we defined that previously. So we're just going to select folder. And our web URL is localhost forward slash and then I'm just going to copy in the uh, our site root folder name. We want to switch over to the advanced tab and the server model. We're going to select PHP MySQL and then save. We want to unselect uh, remote and select testing. And then we'll go over to advanced settings and under local info, we'll set the default images folder to our assets folder. We'll select that and click on save. And that's all we need to do, we have now fully um, defined our site and testing server within Dreamweaver. Now there's a really easy way to test this. So we're just going to right click and new file. We're going to call this index.php and we're going to double click. That will open this page in Dreamweaver. Now it's got nothing on it uh, at all. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch this in Internet Explorer. And as you can see, I'm just getting a blank page. Now we're getting a blank page because as you can see I just created a new file, it's got nothing on it, should be blank. Now the reason I did this step is because if we hadn't defined our site and our testing server correctly then when we tried to launch a page we would get an automatic error message. Okay now the fact that I'm not getting an error message and the page is displaying as it should with nothing on it tells me that I've set this up correctly and everything's working as it should. So that's all you need to do. It's really simple and easy to do. Set up your testing server and define your site within Dreamweaver. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and thank you very much for watching. 
I'd just like to encourage you to visit our official community website, simpletap.com. This is where we post all of our tutorials, including that on web development, computing, and even photography, but much more. Uh, some of our most popular tutorials include building a MySQL user registration system, but we also have PHP classes. I've shown you in videos how to uh, develop your own responsive website layouts, content management systems, there's tutorials on social networking, e-commerce, and much more. But this is a fantastic learning resource and it does not stop there. We also have a ask a question area on our website where you can post a question about this or any other tutorial or perhaps even a project of your own. We also have a blog and a freebies section which you can use to access even more content. Now before you go, I'd just like to encourage you to actually um, like our Facebook page because this is a fantastic way for you to stay in, in contact with us. As we release new freebies, new tutorials, we will post them on our Facebook page and you can even make uh, suggestions for future tutorials all on our Facebook page. But before you go, I would just like to encourage you to check out one of our latest projects, cssmenucreator.com. Now this is a fantastic resource for you. It cuts your development time and makes building websites even easier um, because what it does is it writes the code for you when it comes to CSS menus. You can select from our growing range of uh, pre-built CSS menus, use the built-in uh, application to actually uh, build your menu and create your different options for your menu, and then you can actually uh, install that menu on your own website within Dreamweaver or whatever web application you're using to build your website. You just simply copy and paste the code into the website and we have video tutorials show you how to do it on a step-by-step -step basis. I would just like to say that uh, if you would like to make a contribution to our project, then we really would appreciate it. There is a donation button on simpletut.com uh, which you can use to make a contribution to a project. This is also a great opportunity for me to tell you about um, our official website, siteeasy.com, and there'll be a link in the description of this video. This is where we sell a huge range of pre-built websites and scripts and offer custom web design services. Some of our pre-built websites include a pre-built social networking website, um, e-commerce, content management, um, these all include um, free installations and we offer much more such as property listings or file upload. Um, so it's a great uh, a resource for anyone looking for a one-stop solution uh, for your, uh, your project. We also offer a number of pre-built PHP scripts which is growing all the time. Um, and these are applications which you can incorporate into your website, such as the pre-built user registration system, digital goods for PayPal, billing systems, comment systems, contact forms, and much more. And all of these scripts can be incorporated into your existing website. They're completely pre-built and you can simply copy and paste them and upload them to your server immediately uh, once you've downloaded them. If you do have any questions, would like to get in touch, perhaps have a custom uh, job, uh, web, de web development project uh, you'd like us to help you with, then please get in touch using any of our websites. We all have, uh, we have contact forms on all of our websites. You can contact us via Facebook. Uh, again, I'd also like to recommend that you like, uh, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.